Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will install Hyperland in a base configuration with the latest version of the Arch install script, plus my dot files to generate this. Last week, I found out on the Arch install GitHub page that the support for Hyperland has again improved. With the Arch install script 2.6.1, the Hyperland profile will include the packages Hyperland, Dunst, Kitty, Dolphin, Wofi, XDG, Desktop Portal, Hyperland, Qt5 Wayland and Qt6 Wayland. Means with that you will get a fully running Hyperland installation in a base configuration without adding additional packages at the beginning. And it worked super flawlessly. And only a few terminal commands are required. You find all commands in the description below. The rest is guided with the Arch install script. Arch install 2.6.1 is not yet included in the September release of Arch Linux, but in the video you will learn how to update from the September release to Arch install 2.6.1. In the October release, the latest version will be included. I will install Arch Linux and Hyperland in the virtual machine, but everything will also work on real hardware. But that's not all. In the last chapter of the video, as promised, we will install my dot files to generate an advanced configuration of Hyperland. First, I want to create the virtual machine. I open Vid Manager, click on New Virtual Machine, select the ISO from September of Arch Linux, detect it automatically, forward 8 gigs. Memory, 12 CPUs are available for me. 20 gigabytes are enough for the test. I click on forward. I name it arch install 261. And I customize the setup before the start. I switch to UEFI. Check the boot options. I enable the CD-ROM and bring it to the first position. And with that, we are fine to start the virtual machine. I start the installation. And we are here in the welcome screen of Arch Linux. First, I change the keyboard layout to DE Latin 1. Then I update the package manager with Pacman S Y. Then I initiate the key rig with Pacman dash key dash dash init. And now we can update to the latest Arch install script with Pacman dash S Arch install. You see here already it will be the version 2.6.1. Dash one. Now we have the latest script available and we can start with arch install. Okay, let's do the setup. The mirrors. Mirror region is Germany. In my case, the locales. The keyboard layout is DE Latin 1. Rest is fine. This configuration. Use the best setup. We hold this with ButterFS, subvolumes, and the compression. This encryption is not needed. Bootloader is systemd. Swap is true. Hostname is Arch Linux. The root password. The user profile. Yes, it's the default user for root and I confirm and exit. Now we come to the Hyperland profile. I select type desktop and here is Hyperland. And you see that this profile will install Hyperland, Dunst, the, it's the notification service, Kitty the terminal, Dolphin the file manager, Wofi as the application launcher, XDG desktop portal Hyperland to enable screen sharing and screenshots and Qt5 Wayland and Qt6 Wayland. So a perfect starting point for a Hyperland base system. Return. I choose Polkit. 
And as a greeter, I choose lie. This is a very nice terminal-like reduced display manager. And back, audio will be pipe wire. No additional packages required. I copy the ISO network from the configuration. Time zone is Berlin. And that's it. We can start the installation. Hyperland has just been downloaded, plus the additional packages. And the installation starts now. Super, installation done. That was fast, right? I don't need to change root into the new installation. I can shut down the system because now I have to enable 3D acceleration on my virtual machine. To do that, I open video vid.io, I check 3D acceleration, and in display spice, the listen type is none and OpenGL is activated. And now I can restart the system again. Boot up is starting. And here we are already in lie, our reduced terminal like Display Manager, I log in with my username. Hyperland is already selected. And let's see. And here we are on Hyperland. Let's open Kitty with super key Q. Also, this works. Kitty is installed from the beginning. And do some configurations in the hyperland conf. I see the interconfig hyper and with wim hyperland conf I open the configuration file. First I remove this line. I change the keyboard layout to DE with escape W I have now the German keyboard layout. And now I can change here something. I will move this line, the auto generator, the auto generated window at the top, and the screen resolution 1920 to 1080. Let's save this. And the screen resolution has changed. And the yellow layer on top disappeared. Okay, let's scroll down to the key bindings. And I change this to, to start the terminal to super key return. And to kill the active application, I choose super key Q. Let's write it and let's see if the Dolphin file manager is installed with super key E. And here's Dolphin, available from the beginning. And with super key R, I have Wofi. So with the new Arch installer, you can now install a base system of Hyperland very easy and fully automated. As promised at the beginning, I have a bonus for you. We will install now my dot files. To do this, we need to first install an additional package with sudo pacman-s git. Okay, proceed with installation and now git is installed. Now I can clone my dot files. gitlab.com slash stefan dash rabe slash dot files dot git. Okay, done. Let's see D into the dot files folder. And here is the content of the dot files folder. The first, what I want to do is to launch the one install script. And the installation script now checks if yay is installed. Yay is the package manager for AUR, the Arch user repository. And this is needed to install all additional packages for my Hyperland configuration. Yes, I want to install it. And yay has been 
installed successfully. I want to start the installation now and more additional packages will be installed. Now we can install the .bash RC with yes. I don't need to install my custom login prompt because we have lie. And yes, I want to download some wallpapers from my repository. Okay, step one is done. Now we can install the additional packages for Hyperland with the script to install hyperland.sh. I want to start the installation now. And now the packages of wlogout, swaylog, etc. will be installed. Okay, we are ready for the last step. With three dash dot files dot hh, we will activate now my configuration by setting symbolic links into the dot config folder. Yes, I want to start. I want to use Alacrity, Ranger, Vim, NeoVim, Starship Prompt, Rofi as the application launcher, Dunst, Wall for the color schemes from the wallpaper has been initiated successfully. The GTK theme, I activate all options. Q tile is not required because we only want to install Hyperland. So, but for Hyperland, we need to activate all the symbolic links for Hyper, for mm -hmm, Waiver, for Swaylog, for wlogout, and that's it. Let's open again the hyperland.config file. Because I want to switch here again the keyboard layout. Because the default from my dot files is now US keyboard layout. Now I am back with the German keyboard layout and I can change the resolution here. And that's it for now. Screen resolution has changed. You have seen, you have seen this and now we can reboot. Okay, back on Lie. I log in into Hyperland and now you should see that my dot files have been installed successfully without any error. So with super key return, I can open Alacrity. With super key return, I can open another Alacrity when I click on apps. Rofi starts. When I click on the file manager, Nautilus starts with the right color scheme and the right icons. Let's see if the logout menu is working. Yes, here's W logout. And I can shut down my system. That was again a lot of fun. And it's great to see that the Hyperland support has again improved with the latest Arch installation. And with that, have fun with Hyperland, have fun with Arch Linux, and see you next time.